In this short video, you'll learn how to accept card payments with the CabCard Pocket 4G terminal. So here we have one of our terminals and it is currently off. So let's start by turning it on by pressing and holding the power key. The terminal will now boot up and you'll see on screen the various messages during the boot sequence. The terminal begins by initializing and then it connects to a mobile network, checks for software updates and then the screen will display ready, present card or enter amount. And when you see this screen, you are ready to take a card transaction. So the easiest way to start is simply to enter a transaction amount. And you do this by entering the pence amount for the transaction. So, for example, if we wanted to have a £12.83 pence transaction, we'd type 1283. Or, to give you another example, if we wanted a transaction for £150.92, we would type 15092. You can clear uh, the transaction amount by pressing the yellow key to go back as a backspace or pressing the red X to clear the transaction amount completely. So we'll just do a transaction for five pence in this example. So I've pressed the five key and now I'll press the green tick to select. Here we're prompted whether we want to add a gratuity to the transaction. This is an optional feature which can be disabled on your terminal and if you would like this to be disabled or enabled please contact our support team. If you do select yes, then your customer will be prompted with various options for adding a tip from no tip, a percentage option, or they can also choose to enter a custom amount. We'll choose none. And now the screen displays the transaction confirmation. So the total transaction amount, the sale amount, and any tip. In this case, it's five pence with no tip, so a total of five pence. Press OK to continue. And now you're ready to take your card payment. Most transactions will be carried out with a contactless payment. So you can take any contactless card, that's Visa, MasterCard, American Express, or Google Pay and Apple Pay mobile wallets, and simply tap the card on the reader. And the transaction will be processed. And when you see an auth code displayed on screen, you have completed the transaction successfully. And now we can also see that an e-receipt is displayed on screen. So this is the simplest way for your customer to receive an electronic receipt. There's a QR code which the customer can scan using their mobile phone's camera app. And there's also the option to simply enter the uh, receipt URL on any web browser. So in this case, the receipt is at receipts.cabcard.services forward slash iced burn 13. So if we tick to clear the screen, we're ready to take another payment. And there is also an option to use the chip and pin reader, which is located at the bottom of the device. And if you do enter a card at the bottom of the reader, then without entering a transaction amount, you'll be prompted to enter uh, an amount at that point. And again, you simply enter the pence amount that you want. So if you see uh, a card uh, transaction declined message, then the transaction has not been successful and you need to re-attempt payment. Before we finish, I'll just show you one more thing. If you press the up arrow, you will see the main menu for your terminal. And there's a few different options here, but one of the most useful features is the test connection feature which you can use to check that your terminal is connected to our secure payment gateway. So while the option is selected, and you can scroll up and down to select other options, press the green tick key, and when you see successful connection, your terminal is successfully connected to the server. That's it for this quick, guide, this quick start guide. If you do need any help, please contact our support team by going to cabcard.services forward slash support. Thank you.